Okay, so these are the typical kind of questions that you see for logarithm. Huh? Uh, of course, there will be, I'm, I'm not going through the basic of the rules. But while I do the equation, then I will talk about the rules that you have to know during logarithm. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. Okay, I have log 3, 2x plus 4, plus 1 over log 9, okay, log 9, 3 equals to 6. So what do I have to do this? Okay, I will have to change this to base 3 first at uh, the bottom. So what you can do is log 3, 2x plus 4 plus 1 over, okay, this one you have to change to base 3, okay? How do you change to base 3 is, you put a fraction, you want to change it to base 3, base 3. And this first number will be at the top, and the base here will be here. Okay, this one I just put it as 6 first. So then this, you must know that the uh, logarithm law is log a, a is equals to 1. That means log 3, 3 is equals to 1 whole. Okay, so this one will be log 3, no change. This is 1 over, for information, this is actually log 3, 3, 2. Because 3 square is 9, huh? and power law tells me that the 2, I can bring it down. So it becomes 2 log 3, 3. And we know that log 3, 3 is 1. So in this case, this is 2. So the bottom uh, become half already. Okay, I just put equals to 6. Huh? Okay, and 1 whole over half is just 2. Okay, so it becomes log 3, 2x plus 4 plus 2 equals to 6. And I can bring the 2 over to the other side. So it becomes log 3, 2x plus 4 equals to 4. And when you come down to here, what you can do is two ways of doing it. Sometimes some students change this to log 3, 3. Because we know that log 3, 3 is 1. Ma. Okay? Then after that, they bring it up to the 4. Like something like that. Then they compare 2x plus 4 is equals to 81. Okay? But I, I usually, I don't use this. What I do is I simply change it to index form. So you must know how to change logarithm form to index form. Huh? So how do you do that? This is the base. I'm going to push this up. Okay, just visualize and push this up. Huh? So it becomes 2x plus 4 equals to 3 to the power of 4. Push it up, 3 to the power of 4. So it's the same as just now what I did, right? Okay, but this is short term. I don't have to write so much. So in the end, this is 2x plus 4 equals to 81. And 2x equals to 81 minus 4. So 2x is equals to 77. Yes. And x is equals to 77 divided by 2. I will get 30. See here. 38.5. Huh? x equals to 38.5. And you are done. That's for the part 1. Huh? Okay. You all, have, you all can take a snap if you all want to. Huh? I'm going to erase this. Huh? Okay, part two. Da, 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 da. Okay, I see all base two, base two. So what I need to do is I need to combine this into a single logarithm. So before I can change it to a single logarithm, I need to bring this, I need to bring this two up first, power log. So it becomes log two, three minus two x, Power law, bring it up. So this one becomes squared. Minus log 2, x plus 1 equals to 4. So uh, logarithm laws tells me that when I have two logarithms, which is the same base, 2, 2, uh, and when it's minus, I can combine to become divide. So it becomes log 2, 3 minus 2, x squared over x plus 1. And just keep it as 4, doesn't matter. Uh. So just now I teach you how to change it to index form, right? So you can do the same thing. So I'm going to push this up. So it becomes 3 minus 2x squared over x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Huh? I'm going to put 16 over 1. Cross multiply, I will have 3 minus 2x squared equals to 16 multiplied by x plus 1. Okay. Okay. So then after that is the normal, just the usual uh, equation. Huh? So what you need to do is, let's see. Huh? So we have this rainbow. We will be 9 minus 12x plus 4x squared equals to 16x plus 16. 
a a square minus two a b plus that's correct. So after that, because it's a quadratic equation, so you throw everything to the left hand side. So four x square minus twelve x bring over minus sixteen x plus nine bring over minus sixteen equals to zero. So I end up having four x square minus twenty eight x. Okay, nine minus sixteen is minus seven equals to zero. So we're going to solve this quadratic equation. 4 minus 28 and minus 7. Okay, uh, using the quadratic formula, huh? x equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And of course, you will get 7.2416 and negative 0 0.2416. Okay, they only put here one. Let's see. Huh? Okay, you must always test it out. Huh? Okay, let's put it up. Okay, once you solve the x, we have two x now, right? So you need to test whether is it valid or not. Let's take a look at this one. This is 3 minus 2x. If today this is 3 minus this one, huh? 3 minus 2, 7.2416. It gives you a negative value, agree? So if we give you a negative value, then you will have to reject with it because you must know that when we logarithm, uh, okay, log A, B, you must know that both A and B, they must be positive number. That's one of the rule, okay? So when you put it back into the equation and you get A, this one is negative. That means you know that you will have to reject this one. Okay, then this one negative, why, do I, why don't I reject this? It's because if I do 3 minus 2, Minus 0 0.2416. Negative, negative become plus one. So overall, I get a positive value. So that means I can accept this one. Ma. But don't just check this part. You still have a x plus one here for you to check. Agree? So x plus one, although this one plus one is valid. Okay? But the first one we already reject. Ma, so we don't have to look at this one. This one minus 0 0.24. When I plus one, I still get a positive. So that's why I can accept this answer. But take note, final, you will have to round off to 3SF. So it's minus 0 0.242. 3SF. Okay. Okay, question two. Solve the equation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 2 log 5x equals to 3 minus log x5. This kind of question, when they come out, you will have to use substitution. Okay? So, uh, substitution means you're going to let u equals to something. So, student asks, should I change this to base x or should I change this to base 5? Okay? Technically speaking, both also can. But, always change to the, uh, the base as a whole number. So, that means I want to change this to base 5. Okay? So, let's this one just remain the same. No change, no change, no change. Minus, put a fraction. I want to change to base 5, so you write log 5 and log 5 first. This 5 will be at the numerator. This x will be here. And remember, just now I mentioned log 5, 5 is 1 whole. Huh? So this is log 5x equals to 3 minus 1 whole over log 5x. So now you can see the junk of log 5x, log 5x. So I'm going to let u equals to log 5x. Okay? So I will say, oh, so 2u is equal to 3 minus 1 over u. Then you just take it like a normal equation and solve it. So how do you solve this equation is, uh, what I can do is, I put this as over 1. 2u equals to, tam u, tam u, uh, tam u, tam u, I will get 3u minus 1 over u. I just combine this into a single fraction. Then this one you put over 1. Now both sides, single fraction, you can cross multiply. So 2u square equals to 3u minus 1. Quadratic equation, throw everything to the left-hand side. 2u square minus 3u plus 1 equals to 0. So then after that, you need to solve the equation. 2 minus 3 and 1. So I get u minus 1. I get 2u minus 1 equals to 0. So in the end, when you solve it, you get u equals to 1 or u equals to half. Okay. Please be careful. Uh. A lot of students wow, solve the equation, really, they happily stop here. Uh. But you need to remember that you're trying to solve x, not trying to solve u. Uh. You are just temporarily solving your u. 
So please bring back this one. So it's supposed to be log 5x is equal to 1 and then log 5x equals to half. To solve this is the same as just now I mentioned, change it to index form. So my x is equal to push up 5 to power 1. So x is equal to 5. This one, same thing. So my x is equal to push up 5 to power of half. Okay. And that's why the answer is 5 to power of half and 5. Okay, so student asked me also, like, 5 to the power of half, can I actually put it in uh, decimal? Okay, uh, 5 to the power of half is the same thing as square root 5. Huh? You put your answer in this one, it's acceptable because it's AMF, exact form is also fine. Okay, uh, you want to put it as 2.236, round off to 3SF, 2.24, also can. Okay, unless the particular mentioned that, oh, I want my answer to be in exact form. Then you got to keep your answer in this form instead of rounding off to 3SF. Okay, so that's for question two. Huh? Okay, this is question three. Three A, let's see. Da, 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 da. I see a lot of base five, base five, this extra 25 here. But we must know that you can link 25 to base five, right? So that means I need to change this to base five. Okay, so let's do 3A first. Huh? So log 550 will remain. This one, I shall change it to base 5. So it become log 5x and log 5. I'm going to change 25 to 52 like that. Okay. Right hand side remain the same. No change first. Uh, but I can actually change this to base 5. Huh? So it become 2 log 55. 5. And when this is 2 log 55, 5, I can bring this 2 up. So it become like that. Okay, back to here. So I have log 550 plus uh, bottom is a two hole, right? Okay, and maybe I'll just rewrite. Uh, multiply by log 5x over 2 equals to, this why I shall combine these together. So it become log 5, uh, 25 multiplied by 2x plus 4. Because this is same base and this is plus. When you plus, you combine, become multiplication. That's why I get 25 multiplied by 2x plus 4. Okay, now let's simplify the left-hand side. This 4 and 2 cancel, I get 2. Okay, so I get log 550 plus log 5x. This 2, I bring it up. Uh, so it becomes like that. Equals to log 525 2x plus 4. Again, this is plus combined to a single logarithm. So it become log 5, 50x square equals to log 5, 50, I rainbow this, huh? 50x plus 100. And please make sure that you put bracket, huh? because if you don't put bracket, you are trying to tell me you do log 5, 50x. After that, then you plus 100, which is not correct. You are supposed to log 5 the whole thing. So the bracket is very important. So actually, you can see that both sides already single logarithm. So when both sides single logarithm, you can happily remove away the log 5. Huh? So therefore, you will know, oh, so 50x squared is equals to 50x plus 100. Everything throw to the left-hand side. 50x squared minus 50x minus 100 equals to 0. I can divide by 50 throughout. x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0. So let's solve the equation. And I will get x minus 2 and x plus 1 equals to 0. So I have x equals to 2 or x equals to negative 1. But please take note, let's go back and check whether, aha, you see, you have an x here, right? So that means this x cannot be negative. Man. Remember I said just now this one cannot be negative. Huh? So when you come back to here, hey, I got one negative here. So that means I need to reject this one. In this question, I will only accept x equals to 2. And that's the answer for 3a. Okay, you all need to take a snack on this question first huh? because uh, part b is a very long question. Okay, question 3b. Okay, this kind of question students see already, uh, they're also scared. Uh. Okay, but actually it's not that scary, okay? Let's take a look. Uh, the mass of the substance present at time t, they say t is the days. Uh, after first being observed, is given by this formula. 
So the formula for the, uh, for the mass and for the time is given by this formula, blah, 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 blah. Okay, they say A and K are constant means it's a fixed number. So there's a lot of unknown alphabet there, right? So they will definitely give you some information. Then you will have to uh, form equation and solve the unknown. So the trick here is initially. Okay, initially means at the starting. At the starting means is T equals to zero. So they're trying to tell you, oh, so when T equals to zero, the mass uh, is 36 gram. Okay, so with this information, I'm going to sub it in. You will say, oh, so 36 is equals to A, E minus K, zero. And when zero times anything is zero, so 36 equals to A, E, zero, and A to the power of zero is one. So in other words, I get A equals to 36. So you see, I solve my A, and they mentioned A is a constant. That means it's fixed. So now my formula will change. But change should become M is equals to 36, E minus KT. Okay. Then after that, they ask, I already solved my A. Ah. Then how am I going to solve my K? That's why they give you another information. They tell you, okay, after 40 days, the mass now reduced to 16 gram. So based on this, I'm going to suck in the information. But of course, this time around, you use this one already. Ah, the one that you already found your A. So I'm going to suck in... 16 equals to 36 E minus K 40. Okay, a lot of students don't know how to deal with this 36 times this thing. Huh? So the trick is, I'm going to bring the 36 over to the other side. Because this is 36 multiply. Huh? So when you multiply, you bring it to the other side, divide. So it becomes 16 over 36 equals to E minus 40 K. Actually, this 16 over 36 can reduce it to the lowest term. Lah. Okay, it will become 4 over 9. So I get 4 over 9 equals to E minus 40K. Then a lot of students say, huh, then how to solve this? Ah? Okay, actually, it's something like indices. Ah. Uh, we try to change it to the same base. But in this situation, you cannot change to the same base. When you cannot change to the same base, you can only use the method of either you lock both sides or you lock both sides. Okay, when base 10 is involved, you choose to lock both sides. When base E is involved, you choose to lock both sides. When 10 and E is not involved, you can choose either one. For this case, it's because base E is involved. So I shall lock both sides. So I will have to lock both sides. So I will have lock 4 over 9 equals to lock E minus 40K. Then power law down means that tells me that this one can bring it down. So it becomes minus 40k ln e ln 4 over 9. And you must know that ln e is actually log e e. And just remember, we say log a a is 1. Ma, so this one is actually equals to 1. Ah. So when you simplify this, it becomes log 4, ln 4 9 is equals to minus 40k. And this whole thing actually can key into the calculator as value. So just k equals to ln 4 over 9 divided by negative 40. So you will key in ln 4 over 9 and divide it by negative 40. And we will get k is equals to 0 0.020273. So round to 3SF, 0 0.0203. This first two zero is not counted as SF. Huh? The first SF is this two. So once you count the first SF, you will go second, and then this is the third. So look at the seven. That's why I round up to three. Huh? Okay, I, I talked about the very basic because I'm not so sure what is your level. Huh? Okay. So this is my K. So I settle my A, and I also settle my K really. Okay. So now next thing is how are you going to sketch the graph? Okay. I'll give you two seconds to take a snap. Huh? for this kind of graph. So how I'm going to sketch this kind of graph is exponential graph uh, is only either this direction or uh, 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 this direction. Okay. Now the question is whether is it number one or number two? Some students, of course, they can memorize. Lah, okay. Some uh, students, if you cannot remember the shape, what you can do is you always can put in like you know a table of points 
This is M and A, to balik. This is supposed to be T, this is supposed to be M. So of course, T start from positive. Uh, don't go and start negative value. Uh. So in this case, actually, I also shouldn't draw like that. I should only start from the zero because T is time. The number of days, ma, I cannot have negative days. Uh. So you can say, oh, negative. I mean, I start T equals to zero. I start T equals to one. I start T equals to two. Then you see what's the value. So when you sub it in, okay, you will get some value. You will know whether is it increasing or is it decreasing. You understand? But this question actually I already know is decreasing. Why I, why I know that? Because you see, initially it was 36 gram, right? Then it becomes 16 gram. Isn't it decreasing? So I already know that it will be number one. Okay? So uh, when they ask you to sketch, okay, you only need to show the critical points whereby for this case, it's a Y intercept. So first, I just need to draw. This is my M and this is my T. And then I know that I have to start from zero. I cannot draw this side. So I know that it will go down this way. Okay. And I only need to show what is this value here. So what is this value here? This is when T equals to zero. Remember just now when T equals to zero, initially it was 36 gram. So just put 36 here. And of course, label your graph. This is M is equal to 36 E minus 0 0.0203 T. That's all. This is just how you draw for the part two. Oh, okay. All good. Any question? Can I go on? This one use a this one makes both indices and logarithm. So it's not just purely logarithm. Ah, huh? so let's take a look at from this one. Three to the power of x multiplied by three to the power of y over two equals to seven two nine. Okay. So uh, indices, when you have the same base, multiply, you add the power. So for this case, it's base 3, x plus. Okay, you need to know y over 2 is half y. Huh? Like that. Okay, then I will have to check my 7, 2, 9 is 3 to the power of what? Okay, you can always try 3 to the power of 5, uh, 2, 4, 3, uh, 3 to the power of 6, 7, 2, 9. So my right-hand side is 3 to the power of 6 because 3 to the power of 6, 7, 2, 9. Then you see, I already changed it to the common single base one. So that means now I can remove the base and say, therefore, x plus half y gives me 6. And of course, I don't like to see fraction, right? So what we can do is we multiply by 2 throughout. You get 2x plus y equals to 12. So this is my equation 1. Okay, I have simplified this to become this. Okay, now let's take a look at the equation 2 over here. So I will write here, log 2, 16 equals to 3 plus log 2, 4x minus y. You can see base 2, base 2, right? So what I can do is, I'm going to change this to base 2 as well. So log 2, 16 remain. This one put 3, just put log 2, 2. And then power law, this one can bring it up. So this one become log 2, 16, no change. This one become log 2, 2, 3, log 2, 4x minus y. Now this one become 8, right? And this is plus, already same base. So that means I can combine it. So log 2, 16, no change. This one become log 2, 8 times this one. Uh, okay, put square. 4x minus y. So it become log 2, 16 equals to log 2, uh, 32x minus 8y with the bracket. So you see both single logarithm remove the log 2 now. So now it becomes 16 equals to 32x minus 8y. I can simplify. Divide by 8 throughout. I get 2 equals to 4x minus y. This is my equation 2. I'm going to drag the equation 1 down. 2x plus y. 2x plus y equals to 12. So of course, do simultaneous. Huh? Okay, let me show. Okay, I get minus y and plus y. So actually, I can add both of them. Equation 1 plus equation 2. When I add that, I get 6x equals to 14. So I'll give me the number. Let me see. 14 divided by 6. So I get 2 whole 1 third. Let's see whether my x is so ugly. No? Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. This one. Okay, usually, I leave my answer in um, mixed number. I don't like to see in proper fraction. Okay, so my x is this, and don't stop there. Ah. Don't forget that you're supposed to solve x and y. Ah. So you can either start into equation 1 or equation 2. doesn't matter. So I shall use this one. So it will be 2x 
plus y equals to 12. So my y equals to 12 minus this one. Uh, two. This is minus 14 over 3. So of course, I'll get 12 minus that. I get 22 over 3. And let's put it into the mixed number. I will get 713. So then usually what you do is always write out the answer out. Huh? X is equal to 2 one third and Y is equal to 7 one third. Okay, why I always like to write this final one is because you must understand huh? school teacher or whoever marks your paper are going to mark a lot, a lot, a lot of paper. Okay, so usually they will just go and see uh, whether you got the answer there or not. You got the answer there already, they already mark correct and then you got the full marks. Okay, unless of course uh, imagine uh, if you want the teacher to go and search for your answer and then if your handwriting is so messy, if the teacher start to search your answer and cannot find your answer, then maybe they will just deduct mark. You understand? So makes things easy for the teacher. Okay? So this is for the this question. A, wow. This one challenging. Uh. Okay, let's see whether I can cut this portion out. Move up and paste. Ah, okay, la, mian chiang, mian chiang. okay, so that you can take a snap. Ah. Okay, question five. Victoria inv invests an initial amount of 70,000 into a saving plan. The value of her saving S after T years is given by blah, blah, blah. So find the amount of savings she will have at the end of the three years. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, 70,000 non 3T plus 6. So at the end of three years means that my T is 3. Ma. So I simply just need to sub T equals to 3. So this one is S is equals to 70,000 non 3, 3 plus 6. Okay. So S is equal, this whole thing just press calculator, 70,000 lawn uh, 9.15 so it's 70,000 multiplied by lawn 15 so I will just get 189563.5141 money unless they ask me to round off to nearest dollar okay by default money is always round off to two decimal place two decimal place is the same thing as rounding off to the nearest set huh? so round off to 2dp be 189563.51. Done. Okay. Okay, next. They say uh, if Victoria is only able to withdraw her saving at the end of each year, calculate the minimum number of years needed from Victoria to multiply her saving by at least four times. Okay, at least four times the, 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 the initial one is how much? The initial is 70,000, right? So do you agree that at least four times means four multiplied by 70,000, which is 28? Da, 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 da. Two, eight, four, zero. Yeah, correct. Okay. So it means that what? It means that my S, okay, I'm going to put on this side. My S, uh, I should put 70,000 ln 3t plus 6, I let it equals to this, 2800000. So my ln 3t plus 6 is equals to this thing, divided by this, which will give me 4, agree? And how are you going to solve this? You need to review the base of the ln. We know that this is base E. So then the, the scale of changing to index form, push up. So e to the power of 4 is equal to 3t plus 6. And you must know that e to the power of something is just number uh, because calculator e is a value. Uh. So what you need to do is just take 3t equals to e4 minus 6. t is equal to e4 minus 6 divided by 3. Then after that, the whole thing, uh, e to the power of 4 minus 6, the whole thing divided by 3, I get... T is equal to 16.19938. So the question is, you see, they put 17 years, right? Okay. If I round off to the nearest whole number, I should round off to 16, agree? But you must think this way in this situation. This is a, a difference. Because they ask you, what's the minimum number of years 
to multiply the saving by at least four times. It takes 16.1 years to get four times. If I round it down to 16 years, I haven't actually reached my four times. You understand? So this in this situation, you have to round it up to 17 years. Huh? So take note, huh? although it's 0.1, okay, but because 16 years, you haven't reached the four times. So in this case, your answer should round it up to 17 years. Okay, so that's for question five. I finished the logarithm.